हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू प्राइस यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज स्कॉलरशिप एग्जाम स्टैंडर्ड फिफ्थ ऑनलाइन क्लास सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स एंड द टॉपिक इज एरिया फॉर रेक्टेंगल एंड द स्क्वेयर सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द एक्सरसाइज थर्टी टू पॉइंट टू विच इज अवेलेबल इन अवर नवनी डाइजेस्ट ऑन पेज नंबर थ्री हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेल्व सो क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज देयर हाउ मेनी बेड्स मेजरिंग फोर मीटर बाय सिक्स मीटर these are the dimension is given actually can be made in the field measuring now field measuring means that is a there is a one area is there okay so that measuring means 16 meter by 12 meter means this is a rectangular area it may be a hall or it may be a room okay now in this one the bed dimension so this is the one bed dimensions and this is the halls we can say the dimension now in this one how many beds are we can place so for this one so this rooms or we can say that field area so this is we will keep it as it is divided by this one beds dimensions means 4 meter by 6 meter so 6 ones are and this 6 twos are then 2 ones are and then 2 twos are four now 2 ones are and here the 8 so means we can say eight number of the beds we can place in this one so that is given in option number 3 Then question number two. Yamini covered a distance of two sixty meter by taking two rounds. So that is very important. Two rounds she is taken. Then she make two sixty meter. That is the distance covered. Two rounds of the rectangular ground of breadth. So that is the rectangular ground of in, uh, having the breadth twenty five. meter what is the area of that ground but length is not given so we have to find out the first length so two rounds that cover the 260 means in a one round so divided by 3 means that is a 130 meter okay so means that is a perimeter of this one so 130 perimeter is equals to now perimeter of the rectangular we know this 2 multiplied by length plus breadth so this is equals to the 2 into length is uh, as it is we have to find out so l as it is then plus b Um, breadth is the 25 we know so this 130 is equals to now 130 this 2 is here multiply so that will become seen here with a division so 130 divided by 2 that is a 65 so now 65 is equals to length plus 25 so means length is equals to 65 minus 25 so that is a 40 so this is a length now we have to find out the area of the ground now we know this 25 breadth is there now we have find out in the length 40 so that is a 40 now for the area 40 multiplied by 25 we have to do means 40 multiplied by this 25 so that is a 25 for the 100 and this zero means that is a 1000 square meter or meter square so this is given in option number 1 now Question number three. What is the expenditure of leveling a square ground with side 80 meter? So means suppose this is a one square ground having the side 80 meter. All the sides are 80 meter because that is a square ground. Okay. So we have to do the leveling here, and that expenditure is we have to calculate. For this one, the rate is given 15 rupees per meter square. So this is rupees 15 per square. meter this per this is a symbol like a per or we can say per also we can write down so this is a rate is given okay for 1 square meter okay and then we have to find out the square meter of this one so means area so this is the 80 of all sides so area of this ground means 80 multiply by this 80 so that is the 8 multiply by 8 is the 64 and then this two zeros okay so this is a meter square or square meter so with multiply by this one now this is the total area means square meters so with multiply by this one with a rate means rupees 15 per meter square now meter square get cancel meter get cancel so that is a rupees so 15 multiply by this one so after multiply by this one means uh, this 00 Then fifteen four is a sixty zero six is a in carry. Then fifteen six is a that is a ninety plus this six means ninety six. So this is ninety six thousand rupees, and this is given in option number three. So for question number three, option number three is a correct. Then question number four, a cost of rectangular plot land at the rupees six hundred per square meter. or uh, meter square okay so this is the rate of the one square meter okay 
इज सो दैट इज दे हैव गिवन अस द टोटल कॉस्ट ऑफ मीन्स रूप इज सेवन लैक ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड ओके सो दिस इज द टोटल कॉस्ट एज पर द रेट ऑफ दिस वन ओके बट द एरिया इज नॉट गिवन सो इन द क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग इफ द लेंथ ऑफ द प्लॉट इज फोर्टी मीटर सो एल इज गिवन फोर्टी मीटर सो फॉर दिस प्लॉट दिस लेंथ इज गिवन फोर्टी मीटर वट इज द ब्रिड सो दिस ब्रिड इज इक्वल टू वेर टू फाइंड आउट नाउ फॉर दिस प्लॉट द सेलिंग रेट मीन्स दिस प्लॉट लैंड द कॉस्ट ऑफ दिस रेट द टोटल कॉस्ट इज गिवन ओके एज पर दिस रेट मीन्स इन वन स्क्वेर मीटर रुपीज सिक्स हंड्रेड इज देर ओके सो इफ वी डिवाइडेड दिस सेवन लैख ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड बाय दिस सिक्स हंड्रेड वी विल गेट द स्क्वेर मीटर ओके और वी कैन से मीटर स्क्वेयर मीन्स दैट इज अ एरिया वी विल गेट सो दिस इज अ सेवन लैख ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड दिस इज द टोटल कॉस्ट एज पर द रेट सिक्स हंड्रेड सो दिस टू जीरो गेट कैंसल दिस टू टू जीरो गेट कैंसल सो सिक्स वन जा एंड सिक्स ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व जा सेवेंटी टू एंड देन दिस टू जीरो सो द ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड स्क्वेयर मीटर इज द एरिया ऑफ दिस लैंड ओके सो दिस इज अ 1200 हंड्रेड स्क्वेर मीटर नाउ वी हैव फाइंड आउट इन द एरिया नाउ एज पर दिस वन द ब्रिड्स वी विल फाइंड आउट एज वी नो द एरिया ऑफ दिस वन मीन्स लेंथ मल्टीप्लाई बाई ब्रिड्स सो दैट इज द एरिया सो नाउ एरिया इज द ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड एंड लेंथ इज द फोर्टी मल्टीप्लाई बाय ब्रिड्स वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट सो दैट इज इक्वल्स टू दो ब्रिड्स इज इक्वल्स टू ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाय दिस फोर्टी हियर मल्टीप्लीकेशन सो अनदर साइड इट विल बी डिविजन सो दिस जीरो गेट कैंसल दिस जीरो गेट कैंसल सो फोर वन जा and then फोर थ्री जै ट्वेल्व सो दिस इज अ थर्टी सो ब्रिथ इज इक्वल्स टू थर्टी मीटर मीन्स दैट इज अ थर्टी मीटर एंड दिस इज गिवन इन ऑप्शन नंबर टू सो फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर ऑप्शन नंबर टू इज अ करेक्ट वन देन क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव अ कार्पेट इज टू बी लेट डाउन ऑन स्क्वेर हॉल ऑफ साइड सिक्स मीटर सो सो दिस वन इज समॉट वी लाइक दिस वन सो स्क्वेर हॉल इज देर ओके सो दिस इज समॉट वी लाइक अ स्क्वेर हॉल सो सिक्स मीटर दिस इज अ साइड मीन्स ऑल द साइड्स आर द सिक्स मीटर बिकॉज दिस इज अ स्क्वेर हॉल लिविंग ट्वेंटी फाइव सेंटीमीटर स्पेस फ्रॉम द फोर वॉल्स ऑफ द हॉल सो फ्रॉम दिस वॉल ट्वेंटी फाइव सेंटीमीटर फ्रॉम दिस वॉल ट्वेंटी फाइव सेंटीमीटर फ्रॉम दिस वॉल ट्वेंटी फाइव सेंटीमीटर एंड फ्रॉम दिस वॉल ऑल्सो ट्वेंटी फाइव सेंटीमीटर दिस इज अ टॉप व्यू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल टेल यू दैट दिस इज अ टॉप व्यू ओके मीन्स फ्रॉम द सीलिंग वे आर लुकिंग दिस फ्लोअर ओके ऑन दिस फ्लोअर फ्रॉम दिस वॉल वे आर लेफ्ट द ट्वेंटी फाइव सेंटीमीटर सो ट्वेंटी फाइव सेंटीमीटर मीन्स हाउ मच सो ट्वेंटी फाइव सेंटीमीटर मीन्स आफ्टर द कन्वर्टिंग टू द मीटर बिकॉज दिस साइड इज गिविंग द मीटर ओके सो टू कन्वर्ट दिस वन 25 फाइव सेंटीमीटर डिवाइडेड बाय हंड्रेड मीन्स दैट इज अ पॉइंट टू फाइव मीटर सो दिस इज अ पॉइंट टू फाइव मीटर ओके सो फर्दर इन अ क्वेश्चन आस्किंग अबाउट सो स्पेस फ्रॉम द फोर वॉल्स ऑफ द हॉल वॉट विल बी द कॉस्ट ऑफ द कार्पेट एट रेट रुपीज वन ट्वेंटी पर मीटर स्क्वेर सो दैट इज अ कार्पेट रेट ओके सो फॉर दिस वन कार्पेट रेट दिस कार्पेट ऑलरेडी वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट मीन्स दिस एरिया ओके सो फ्रॉम दिस वॉल This is 25 सेंटीमीटर इज लेफ्ट सो दिस इज अ कार्पेट वन एज अनादर एज ओके एंड दिस अनादर थर्ड एज एंड दिस इज अ लास्ट एज ओके सो दिस इज अ कार्पेट ओके दिस इज अ वॉल ओके दिस इज ऑल्सो द वॉल दिस इज ऑल्सो द वॉल एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो द नाउ इन दिस वन लिविंग पॉइंट टू फाइव मीटर फ्रॉम दिस वॉल फ्रॉम दिस वॉल ऑल्सो फ्रॉम दिस वॉल एंड फ्रॉम दिस वॉल सो नाउ दिस इज अ कार्पेट ओके so i think this is very 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 important for the students please understand so now this is a carpet okay so this carpet rate we have to find out okay so this rate of the square meter uh, per square meter is given so for this one uh, we have to find out the total cost for this one we have to require the area of this carpet for this one the side also we required so how to find out this side so from this one 0.25 meter and from this one 0.25 meter means this side we will get again i am reading now this side is a 6 meter okay now from this side 0.25 meter is left okay from this side and from this side also 0.25 is left so means 6 minus this 0.25 plus 0.25 we have to add means this plus this this we have to subtract from this total 6 meter so that is a 6 minus 0.5 addition of this one is 0.5 
okay 25 25 50 okay and this two decimals means 0.25 so after the 6 minus this 0.25 means that is a 5.5 okay so that is a meter okay like this same here also 0.25 okay this 0.25 meter and here also 0.25 meter so this is a 6 meter side 6 meter side minus 0.25 and again minus 0.25 means the same list this one okay means the carpet side is this is also the square so carpets carpet dimension or size is a point uh, 5.5 meter and this is a square okay so now area of this one 5.5 multiplied by 5.5 so that is equals to the 30.25 so that is equal to the 30.25 meter square or square meter okay if you do the multiplication you will get this one now area we have find out now we will we know the rate so multiply by with this rate okay so that is a 120 now this is a rupees per meter square so while multiplication this meter square get cancelled this meter square get cancelled okay i'm again repeating here meter square multiply by this rupees divided by meter because this is a per means in a denominator so this get cancelled this get cancelled so only the rupees will, will get so we will get the rupees so for this one so after the multiplication you will find out 3630 so this much is the amount of the carpet is we will get so this is given in option number four so for question number five option number four is the correct one then question number six the length of, and the breadth of the rectangular are 12 centimeter so this is a suppose rectangular 12 centimeter and the 8 centimeter respectively what will be the area of square whose perimeter is equal to the perimeter of the given rectangular so for this one perimeter we have to find out so for this perimeter means 2 in bracket multiply by uh, length plus breadth so length is the 12 plus breadth is the 8 so this is 2 multiply by this 20 8 plus uh, 12 is a 20 so that is a 40 and this 40 centimeter is the same of the squares also square perimeter also and we know the square perimeter means 4 multiply by this side so that is equal to the same so side is equals to 40 divided by this 4 so that is equals to the 10 centimeter so the perimeter so what will be the area so for this one area also we have to find out now this side we have find out and for the uh, area of the square means 10 centimeter multiplied by this 10 centimeter means the side square so 10 multiplied by 10 is the 100 so that is a square centimeter or centimeter square so 100 centimeter square is given in option number 3 so for question number 6 option number 3 is the correct term. then question number 7 what will be the expenditure of painting of ceiling of a room of dimension so there is a dimension 6 meter by 3 meter at the rate rupees 265 per meter square so we have to find out this area first so 6 multiplied by 3 is 18 meter square multiply by this 265 we have to do so after this multiplication you will get rupees 4770 after this two multiplication you will get this amount and this is given in option number one means first of all we have to find out the area of this ceiling and the rate for per square meter is given okay so means area multiplied by this rate we will get the total cost of this painting expenditures okay so option number one for question number seven is correct then question number eight a stage of 10 meter by 4 meter is to be built an auditorium dimensions of 40 meter by 30 meter so one auditorium is there so suppose this is the auditorium having the 40 meter by 30 meter and in this one the stage of 10 meter by 30 meter so this is 3 meter and this is 10 meter okay so this has to be built so what will be the area of auditorium except the stage so if suppose this is a stage is built in this one so after this one whatever this area is balance okay so this area we have to find out so for this one first of all this auditorium's area we will find out which is a 40 multiplied by this 30 
so this is a 1200 meter square from this area of the auditorium we have to deduct this area of the stage so this area means dimensions 10 multiplied by 4 so this is a 4 so 10 multiplied by 4 meter this is the dimension of this stage so which is a 10 multiplied by 4 means 40 meter square okay so this subtractions we have to do from 1200 if we divide or subtract this 40 we will get the 1160 meter square this unit is there so 1160 this is given in option number 4 so for question number 8 option number 4 is the correct one then question number 9 rectangular field having length 855 meter and the breadth is 205 meter was sold at the rate of rupees 400 per square meter what is the selling price of this one so one area is there okay so for this dimension 855 and this breadth is 205 so this is in meter this is also meter and this has to be sold means selling is there so as per the rupees 400 per square meter so this is in rupees okay rupees so for this one we have to find out first area so for this one 855 multiply by this 205 so after this multiplication you will get 1752 and 75 so this is the meter square of the area and with this one if you we have to multiply by this rate means 400 so after this multiplication you will get 7011000 so means this one is a 7 crore 1 lakh 10000 so this is in rupees and this is given in option number 2 so for question number 9 option number 2 is the correct means in this one where to find out the area of this land and which is in square meter so and there is a rate is given 400 rupees per square meter means for one square meter this is the rupees okay so with multiplication this area means this one this is the total area and multiply by this unit rate so we will get the total cost of the land now question number 10 perimeter of rectangular with breadth 6 centimeter is 34 so perimeter is given so suppose this is a rectangle this rectangle and rectangle having the perimeter perimeter is 34 centimeter having the breadth 6 centimeter but the length length is not given so then what will be the area of square with the same side equal to the twice of this length means there is another square which having the this square having the side which is double or we can say the twice of this length means we can say 2l or here also 2l because this is a square okay so this is a square in shape and this is a in rectangle shape okay so we have to find out the area of this one so before this one we have to find out the length of this rectangle and uh, this rectangle having the uh, breadth 6 centimeter but the perimeter is 34 so perimeter we know 2 in a bracket l plus b is equals to 34 so b we know which is a 6 so 2 in a bracket l plus 6 is equals to 34 now l plus 6 is equals to 34 divided by this 2 so which is a 17 so l is equals to 17 see this 6 6 is here in addition so that will be in subtraction so that is a 11 centimeter so length is a 11 centimeter and here for the square which is a twice of this length means that is a 22 centimeter so this is also the 22 centimeter because this is a twice of this length and this length is 11 so this is a 22 so now for this one we have to find out the area and as we know the area of the square means side square means that is a 22 multiplied by 22 so that is a centimeter square so as we know 22 square is a 484 so that is a centimeter square or square centimeter and this is given in option number 2 so for question number 10 option number 2 is a correct one thank you